All right, in this video, I'm going to show you exactly two commands. Uh, and this is targeted to people who are probably starting out with Vim. Okay, so these are pretty handful command. That's why I'm doing this video. Okay, so without further ado, let me get into a workspace where I have already opened a terminal. Okay, so V is a shorthand alias to Vim in my system and demo file if i open a file and if i get into a insert mode and if i write https any damn website okay and then um, if i write any damn file name from anywhere okay so now i'm going back to normal mode so while your cursor on the url okay so vim provide a shorthand to open that specific url on in, on your default browser okay so all you have to do while your cursor is on the url press letter g and x and it'll going to open up in a default browser in my case it is vimb which is a browser based on vim it could be firefox i'll show you how you can configure your different default browser with it okay pretty ordinary stuff but the point is that while your cursor is on the url inside vim all you have to do press g and x so it will go ahead and open the open the url on a default browser okay all right so the next thing is that um, while your cursor is on a file name any file name mentioned in the file itself all you all you have to do press gf um, stupid thing okay so while your cursor is on the f file name okay all you have to do gf see it open up in a vim buffer right so all you have to do gf while your cursor is on the file name okay so these are pretty nifty while i'm repeating again while your cursor is on the url to open the url on a default browser all you need to do press gx okay on normal mode and while your cursor is on file name all you have to do press gf on the normal mode to open it up on a vim buffer okay okay so uh, i could have shown much more complicated stuff but i'm i'm restricted myself i just don't want to clobber your head these two are pretty helpful and useful stuff if you are starting out with vim okay gx for opening the URL on a default browser, GF to open the file underneath the cursor on a Vim buffer. Okay, so so I have a uh, shorthand alias to VIH is a Vim help. Nothing, nothing. Big. That's what I wrote. So if I do GF, so it will open. Uh, you can see if you if you pass the count before that gf right so edit the file whose name is under or after the cursor as simple as that that's what i shown to you and uh, you can read through this this uh, simple stuff uh, written here on the on the on the on the help page i don't think it will take too much time of your you can easily uh, grabs it okay so and now okay so and vih gx don't get distracted by seeing i'm typing vih vih is a alias to vim help that's why it's opening like i made a shortcut that's why i don't have to do it from the ex prompt you could have easily type it on the ex prompt h gx or gf same thing 
okay so this is uh, where the um, this is that's a basically net rw browser plugin so you can mention your choice of browser or application to open the file if you if you put uh, this kind of line you can see let uh, g then net rw browser viewer so you can mention your choice of application to 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 the file should be open or to the to the url should be open okay again i'm 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 telling you just to just to browse through this particular page it's not uh, long enough but it will certainly clear out any kind of confusion you might have gathered by showing what i'm showing to you okay so i thought this will be very useful to the people who started out with vim okay so let me clarify your confusion um there is a small see this is how the vih what you you saw me typing on top of the screen it's just calling up a ex prompt okay with a, with an argument as simple as that so you can easily do this thing similar thing go to the ex prompt type h and then gf see it'll 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 does the same thing what what i do sometimes i i do not get into inside vim but i wanted to see something specific to vim from the terminal itself so i directly go into the help page by doing that by by calling vih which is an ally alias to me okay in my system so not necessarily you have to have that kind of stuff in your machine too i made it for my convenience so it might not be useful for you but as i shown to you i i show you why i have used that thing so it it should not talk any confusion to your mind okay so gf and gx these two are very uh, popular known prominent command those who are starting out with vim i thought to give you a quick rundown of this kind of stuff so i hope it will be useful for some people thanks for watching